Happy Sabbath, partner. Yes, happy Sabbath to you. Um, a blessed Sabbath day to everyone. Happy Sabbath. So, before we had, be, before we'll be hearing testimonies this afternoon, we would like everyone to have this just a short. Um, remi re let's reminisce our motto and recite it together with us. Voice of youth. Again, voice of youth. Empowering the youth for evangelism. Yes. So this afternoon. We want to hear your evangelizing stories and how the Holy Spirit really empower you, me and us. Yes. So, we will be hearing a foretaste of experience, experiences of being God's, God's worker. So, Ina? Yes, um, before, before anything else though, we'd also like to thank you everybody, especially for the voice of youth teams and students that went out. Uh, thank you so much for being an instrument to uh, uh, send a word. And uh, before we start, is, is that all? Okay. And also, we would like to encourage everyone to go forward before Yeah, can we, can we compress forward, please, so that we can... Uh, can go forward. If you want to sit with your teammates and the field, yeah, that's, much are, better. that's good. And um, we were so amazed seeing your uniform with you, wearing that. Wow. So nice. if you still want to have that organized, that white, blue, you can move forward together with your roommates and with, so that we'd, we'd appreciate hearing yes. testimonies here. All right. Yeah. So I think everybody's well seated. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So this afternoon is really an hour for us to stand out, for you to stand out as a voice of youth. And we will be hearing the, vo the voices of young people and how their experiences of soul winning had led them, not only just for two weeks experience, but for a lifetime, life-changing experience. So this afternoon, the first, the first, testimony that we will be hearing is of course those first timers and we do believe that our our program already asked the first timers to share their testimonies well before anything else we would like to also thank you the uh, for the uh, sa president jd jd and alessio uh, uh please stand up Oh, okay. Sorry, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. So we are, we will be proceeding now to our, uh, for the first timers. Uh, who among you here are the first timers in joining the Voice of Youth? Wow. I can't see any hands. Can you please uh, put your hands up so I can see? There's there are a lot. Wow, there's a lot. Wow. Okay. No. All right. How about you? When is uh, your first time last, joining the Voice of Youth? Last 2012. Okay. How many Voice of Youth have you joined already? Um, four. Four, that's good. It's my second time around, but um, yeah, thank you so much. Even for the first timers that joined, we're expecting you to also join the next Voice of Youth this summer. So um, just to continue, uh, the first, for the first timers that we'll be, we will be interviewing will be, oh, okay, <laughs> can you please come over? Right, thank you so much. So, Ate, and wow, nice shirt. She's from Pampanga. Pampanga, the place you're from. So, Ate, since it's your first time, we wondered um, how old are you in AUP? First, huh? how old are you in AUP? How, how old? Uh, um, I'm 19 years old, and my name is Eliana Jane Saliase, but most people call me by my nickname, Yana. Yana. Okay, Yana. Thank you. Um, like what I asked before, how old are you in AUP right now? Huh? How old? Sa AUP? How long? How long pala? Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, maybe around three years, I guess. Around three years? But we wonder.
word. Huh? How? Um, for three years, why is it this only 2014 December break you joined the OI? Well, I can say it's because of the influence I, get, I got. Because I said before, I'm not really into any spiritual activities or anything sort of that. I'm more into worldly things and I'm really thankful to God because He changed me and He used people to help me realize the things that those things are vain, like they're useless if you don't have Him and that the joy I'm looking for, because before I was really looking for joy in, with my friends, um, going to Paseo and I don't know, anything, but then those people made me realize that it is more fun in ministry. Wow, amen. So it is indeed true that out of the abundance of your heart, the mouth speaketh. So now we'll give her her stories, the, all her first time experiences and the life changing experience she has experienced in VOI. Um, okay, so. My first VOI is really mind-opening, heart-opening, everything. Well, not really everything. And well, what I'm trying to say is that before, I can say that I love my fellow men. But then I really didn't know the real love that I have for them. But then when I joined the VOI, I really realized a lot of things. And one of that is my love for our fellow men. It's just one of the many things I've rea realized. And, uh, okay, what I realized is that we have the truth. We know the truth and we have God. And if we really love our fellow men, uh, the truth is really, it's in, it's, it's in front of them. It's like, it's exposed to them already. They're just waiting for that someone to really open it up to them. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's like if you really love your fellow men, you will want them with you together with our Lord in heaven. You wouldn't want them burning here when he, you know. So that's what I realized. And what else? My testimonies, ba? Um, and also, I, I uh, experienced, we experienced a lot of trials and challenges, but we still, we are thankful for those challenges because because of those, we grow. We learn a lot of things, we realize a lot of things, and we grow into Christ more. And that's, and <laughs> I'm really sorry. And, you know. Amen. So are you blessed with the testimony? It is indeed that in service, we will grow. And uh, I, I also would like to ask one last question, Yana, if that's okay. Yeah, because um, it's your first time joining the Voice of Youth, right? So um, what was your most noticeable spiritual change since you joined the Voice of Youth? If you can. <laughs> My most, can you? Um, your most noticeable spiritual change. Noticeable spiritual change, yep. Unnoticeable. Yeah. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> before, I'm, I will be frank. I will be honest with myself. Before, I can't even stand a minute praying. Like, kneeling down, it's really hard for me. It's like my, I feel like my bones cracking. And <laughs> and so, I, I, uh, I experienced there. But, well, actually, before, we've been, we've been praying and I've been, you know, Anyways, we experience, we experience United Prayer, so I'm really blessed with the 10 days of prayer, and I'm really thankful. Anyways, we experienced the night before New Year, New Year's Eve, we prayed to God, and it, it took us for an hour. We wow. were kneeling, one and hour? yes, one hour. <laughs> it's really timed. Okay. And, well, it, it's not really like in the PAC, like, it's appointed, oh, you will be praying for this and that. But then there, you will let the Holy Spirit speak through you. Like, it will, it will make you speak 
it will make you pour out your heart to God, your requests, your confessions, everything. And so that's um, that's one noticeable spiritual growth I experienced. Amen. Amen. So that we can really say that uh, Jesus really worked in you. Okay. Can we say amen to that, people? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, is that it? Okay. Yana, thank you so much thank you for so much, Yana, your from testimony Pampanga. today. May God bless you. Also, we would like to ask Kuya Joshua. Is he? Uh, Kuya Joshua. What's the last name? It's just Joshua. Uh, what? He's not here. How about? Shall we find another one then? Any, any, anybody from them? Married. We need to interview too, right? How about Ate Maribi? Wow. Okay, so I guess I guess we can choose one from okay. first timers here. Yeah. Okay. Can I see again those hands of the first timers? We need one more to be interviewed here in front. <laughs> we need to hear your testimony. We want to hear you. Voice it <laughs> out. Okay, that girl over there. She has been voluntold. What is your name? Her? It's okay. Her? Okay. Come on over. Please don't be shy because we are also shy here in front. <laughs> it's okay, Come on. Tagalog. Come on. Anybody? Anybody of you? Yeah. First, first timers, first time. please. Uh, team How leaders, was your first hi and hello in the Voice first, of Youth please. coordinators there. Can you please, uh, you know, help us with your teammates? I think we have one here. <laughs> Testimony. Come on, I think that uh, Ate right there. Okay, I have a candidate here. Ate, can you please come over? Please. What's her name again? Can you please come over, Ate? So that we can. Yeah, you, you. You can also go. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Don't be shy. Come on, because we need to interview too. So this is the last one for the uh, first timers. All right. All right. All right. My brother, Jesus has sent you here. Okay. So this is your first time of joining the Voice of Youth? <laughs> yes, this is my first time. You're shaking? Okay. Yes. Me too. Okay, that's good. So how was your first time joining the Voice of You? Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> this is my first time to speak in English. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, I, um, Masaya naman. Oh, yeah. Tagalog ba o may Enjoy Tagalog? It. Kasi meron talaga meron mga foreigner. Sige, Tagalog na lang. Ah, uh, kaso Bisaya ako eh. <laughs> Ito, okay. So, um, sig siguro itatanong ko sa'yo, ano yung pinaka, ano mo, yung nagtulak sa'yo para mag-join ka ng Voice of Youth? Kasi, di ba yung naging Voice of Youth natin is holidays. This is a special holiday for everybody because this is the Christmas and the New Year. So um, it, it, it is very special for you, I understand. But how were you able to, you know, commit yourself to Jesus and join the voice of you? Um, before I go to NEUP, uh, I plan to join BOY. Because I'm going to go to Oh, okay. And then when I go in EUP, and um, bilang nagbago yung isip ko. <laughs> Like and then, what way? Uh, way? my um, friend uh, told me that um, ano daw? Kung pwede daw ako mag-join sa B BOY. Sinong and, si yeah, um, our co coordinator, uh, yeah, that is my best friend, oh. Arvin Pexon. Where is your best friend? Uh, I think she is not, ah, she, <laughs> <laughs> he is not around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right, that's good. 
So, um, thank you then at nag-join kayo sa Voice of Youth at uh, I'm sure uh, nagamit kayo ng Diyos as instrument um, the holiday season. The next question that, that I'm gonna ask you is, um, siguro, what did you enjoy about your work as a missionary in the Voice of Youth? Uh, ano yung pinaka na-enjoy? Saan ba, saan ka ba na-assign? Saan po ba kayo na-assign? Bataan. Bataan. Si, yes. Kasama mo ba si, ano, Denmark? Si Denmark? Polancos? Ay... And then, then, baka ibang ano kayo. Okay, so, si, itatanong ko sa Bataan, ano ang, ano yung pinaka na-enjoy mo dun sa naging outreach ng Voice of Youth doon? Um, I think, uh, the very enjoyable moment in my BOY is uh, when I go to home to home and the uh, okay. sorry for Bible study. study Bible study uh, uh, Bible study, Bible study um, visiting visiting and it's very enjoyment okay. enjoying pala <laughs> okay <laughs> well maganda maganda and, naman yun uh, and uh, amara, yung mga bata naglalapitan sa amin tas sumasalaubong Kuya Abel Kuya Abel yan yun ang napakasaya. So, naging close ka dyan sa mga kabataan, oh. dun sa bataan. So, bali ikaw yung naging children's coordinator nila. Ay, hindi rin. Hindi, hindi ba? Okay, okay. Okay, it's, it's, that's fine. That's it ko na malaya. Okay. So, siguro yung next question ko sa'yo is, uh, how many houses were you able to serve there? Huh? How many, uh, ilang bahay siguro yung mga naiikutan nyo dun, na nabibigyan nyo ng Bible study? Ah, uh, uh, we have uh, may, uh, three groups. Ah, may, hindi, Tagalog na lang. <laughs> okay, Tagalog, Tagalog. Okay lang. <laughs> I-translate mo na lang. Sige, sige, sige. Yeah. Uh, meron kaming, ano, uh, tatlong grupo. Kasi may tatlong barangay na pupuntahan. Okay. So, kami na-assign doon kami sa isang barangay, A. Rivera. Ah. Uh, ang, binibi uh, bi ang binibisita namin doon bahay ay nasa tatlo. Tatlo. Oh. Okay. Pero yung tatlong bahay naman yung maraming uh, mga bata, maraming ma matatanda. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, ano ba sila lahat? Uh, were, uh, were they all Adventists or are they a uh, different religion? Adventist Ad ka ba lahat? Or... They, um, hindi sila Adventist. Okay. Yung iba Catholic, yung iba born again. Yeah. Okay. So uh, siguro yung next question ko sa'yo is, uh, bro, were many uh, were many people responsive to the gospel? Ano ba yung naging ano nila nung pag nung pagpunta niyo ba by house to house naging responsive ba sila sa inyo or sinarahan ba kayo ng pintuan o ano bang naging experience niyo? By the by the goodness of Holy Spirit, um, they treat us as they family and they welcome and tagalog na lang ulit. <laughs> At kami po pupunta dun sa bahay nila. Ang dami agad pagkain, mga inumin. Yeah. Ano, ano, inumin! Ano? ano? Fermented ba yun? O? Tang, tang. Oh, okay, okay. I just wanna make sure. Yeah. Okay. Kasi sabi niya masaya tapos maraming inumin. Eh. So, sige, sige, sige. Okay, okay. So that's good, that's good. So um, in other words, the Holy Spirit was really working with you because they were really responsive when you were coming over to their houses. Okay, so siguro yung uh, last, can I ask you two more questions bro? Okay, thank you. So siguro, dun sa naging voice of youth, because every voice of youth is a special one. Do you guys agree? Because we all are all, have, uh, are all having unique experiences every time we go out for this outreach. Siguro ang itatanong ko sa'yo, what would you miss in the last voice of youth? What would you miss? Ano yung mamimiss mo dun sa mga nangyari? Um, I miss uh, a lot. <laughs> Pwede yung Tagalog. Pwede uh, yung Tagalog. Uh, uh, na Namimiss ko yung mga bata, yung mga hmm. church member, yung mga church member. mga matatanda na binibisita namin. Baba po. Uh, uh, <laughs> namimiss ko silang lahat. Kasi tinatrato nila kaming parang pamilya. Amen. Amen. That's the family of God. Can we say amen to that? Amen. Ito pa, last question na lang. Sir, would you still join Voice of Youth uh, in the next uh, up upcoming Voice of Youth this summer? Oh, sasali ako kasi napakasaya talaga. Amen. 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 So what's your name again? 
Abel. Abel. Para kaya naman tayo magkaklase. <laughs> Gusto ko lang makilala ka rin sa'yo. <laughs> Abel, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> sige, sige. Thank you All so right. much, Abel right. from Bataan. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's the sweetest, funniest, and happiest experience ever in VOI. Yes, yes. And I agree. It's his first time even here, diba? Yes. So right now, thank you so much, first timers, for sharing your experiences to us. And we will we'll proceed now to our graduating student. Yes, this is John. This is uh, the next question and answer portion. Or the graduating students. Yeah. Uh huh. Here we go. Yeah, one hand there. Wow. Ah. Uh, okay. Graduating students. Okay. All right. Here's one. What is your name, Ate? Divine. Hi, Ate Divine. Hello. Good afternoon. Um. Mm -hmm. From what? Place. Uh, Place. San Jacinto, Pangasinan. Wow, Pangasinan. It's kind of far. So, how was it? Uh, ano ba? English and bar? Taga. <laughs> Pwede in Tagalog. Pwede English. Um, masaya. Masaya po sa ministry. Oh, amen. At the Divine, um, mm -hmm. since it's your senior years right now, what leads you to join BOY? I know seniors are very busy, di ba? Um, actually, last year pa po talaga na pinangako ko sa Panginoon at regalo ko na rin sa sarili ko at sa Panginoon na um, before man lang ako lumisan sa AUP. <laughs> um, bagaman nakakalungkot pero um, yun talaga, promise ko talaga kay God na um, as a um, in my personally experience talaga, mag-grow din ako through ministry, through voice of youth, at hindi naman ako binigo ng Panginoon. Kasi talagang napaka-blessings po talaga na nakasama ako sa voice of youth team. Wow. Yeah. Ang ilang VOI niyo po ngayon? First time po. <laughs> First time niya rin! Yes, uh, um, in my five years staying in AUP, it's my very first time to join in, in his ministry. Wow, so... Praise God kasi bago ka graduate, nag-BOI ka muna. So ate, um, so two weeks mong experience was the most promising experience from God. Um, very promising po yung, um, yung everyday namin na lakad. Every yung everyday na lakad namin sa gitna ng arawan kasi for the very um, sa, in two weeks na nakarating kami sa Pangasinan never namin na-experience ang ulan so napakainit po talaga mga kapatid and sa awa naman ng Diyos um, yun yung yun yung um, tipong nafe-feel na, na namin physically yung init pero yung puso namin nandun pa yung kasiyahan talaga na bubungad kami sa mga pintuan ng mga kasambahayan doon at namin ay ipapakilala namin ang aming pakay at yung um, ang aming daladalang magandang balita para sa kanila. Amen! So ate, since it's your first time and I guess as a student it's also, it would probably your last time, would you still join VOI as a professional after you graduate? Yes, of course. Wow! Uh, sponsor ka na, sponsor. <laughs> sponsor. Um, yes, um, na pagtanto ko rin na... It's okay. okay. Na pagtanto ko rin po mga kapatid na um, nakakahinayang din na ngayon lang ako sumali sa Voice of Youth. Bagaman hindi pa huli ang lahat pero um, if God's will, Bala ko rin po ngayong summer kung meron pang mga pagkakataon na makakasama sa grupo. Amen. So, thank you Ate Divine. And where is your group? Ayun. Sama si Walter. Wow. Thank you for bringing her <laughs> kasama kayo. And praise God for that experience. Right now, we're going to hear testimonies. Um, before that, we would like to ask those teams from Mindoro to stand up. Yeah. 
Yeah, all teams who were sent to Mindoro. Oh, wow. Dami. Yeah, and we encourage you to go here in front. Yeah, representative. Representatives from your team. Yes. Any representatives from the Mindoro teams? Including Palawan. Including Palawan. Wow. They will they will be the team ne next Sir? to be interviewed. <laughs> Okay, guys, um, as much as possible, we need from, uh, from each group that went to Palawan and uh, Mindoro, we need one representative from y'all, and we need you to, to join us here in front, please, because we're going to have a question. Uh, I believe this is going to be also going to be a question and answer yes. portion. Okay. We'll ask them random questions. Mirtel. <laughs> oh, see, we're excited yeah. to hear it. Yeah, all right, all right, let's go. Can we just please occupy this, uh, this seats here? Guys are excited to hear different stories from them. I think I so this... Yeah. One in each team, please. Thank you. Pupo kayo dito, ma'am sir? Yes, you need to sit here in front. So, eto po sila, from Mindoro and Palawan. Kuya Dan, are you coming with them? We need two more slots. We need uh, two more persons here. <laughs> there you go. Romy. Happy Sabbath, sir. Wow. All right. We're filled. Before we ask them random questions, we'd like them we would like to know them and the place where they sent in Mindoro. Sabat. Uh, my name is Gleason Makula. Uh, po kami sa Rojas, Barangay San Mariano. Uh, my name is Romy James Faliena II. Uh, we conducted our VOI at Rojas Main Church. Uh, I'm also from Rojas. Good afternoon, I'm Jerry Tabianan. Uh, this is my first time this year. Uh, I'm from Pal uh, we done our voice of youth in Palawan, Nanalao, Linapakan, Palawan. So, yeah. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Yeah. I am Ethel Amboy from um, Bungabong Occidental Mindoro team. Hello everyone, I'm Grace Ann Falconete. We're from Bibihan, Bansud Oriental, Mindoro. Happy Sabbath po. Uh, my name is Jelinas Makasa. Um, Nag-viewaway po kami sa Alindog, proper Bansud Oriental, Mindoro. Good afternoon. My name is Lara Miguel Tabianan from we do our voice of youth in Kawayan, Bungabong, Occidental, Mindoro. Uh, Oriental, pala, sorry. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Christine. Nag-BOY po kami. Yan. Mindoro. Wow. So, that was it. And now, since Mindoro and Palawan is... Pinakamalayo ba sila? Team. Palawan is the farthest, yes. It's the farthest. So now we'll only ask random questions from you, and um, it's still your testimony. It's still up to you. 
Okay. All right. So, um, all right. How do you want me to ask you questions, guys? Who among you wants to answer first? Can you please raise your hand? If this is not gonna be a hard question or something, we just we want we just want to hear your testimonies. Okay. Ito na lang tatanong ko kayo kuya ha. Um, siguro tell us about your team. What are their ministries and how do they do? Uh, sa Tagalog pa, uh, yung team niyo po, ano po, ano po yung mga respective ministries niyo? Kanyari, kayo po ba ay uh, yung overall coordinator, kayo po ba yung children's, yung interest coordinator, at paano niyo po nagampanan yung responsibility niyo as yun? Ay, thank you. Thank you for the question. Uh, I'm the overall. <laughs> overall coordinator? Yeah. No, not yet. <laughs> I'm overall because uh, in our team we're only three and including okay. another one from from that place. So we're four on the team. Uh, I'm the speaker. You're the speaker. And also I'm also uh, act as sometimes as coordinator and also we uh, we coordinate also the church. But the ministry that we have started. Uh, when we're been in that church, actually we were delayed four days bago kami makarating sa lugar. Because the place that we are assigned is very far from the main island, the Cor main island Coron. Wow. So we, we reached Coron through different transportation. Transportation. Actually, ang plano namin, barko, Pero nung dumating kami sa barko, lahat ng lahat ng ng biyahe ay fully book. Fully book at saka talaga yung iba ay umalis na. Yung iba ay talaga hindi kami yung iba wala nang tao sa office nila kasi they are not really accepting a passenger but we reach Coron Palawan Saturday afternoon. So, sa tulong ng Panginoon, talagang napakaraming paraan Amen. kung talagang ipupurso natin ang gawain ng Panginoon. Bagaman, minsan ay challenging, pero napakaraming paraan kung tayo ay tutu kung talagang tutugon tayo sa, sa panawagan ng Panginoon. So, we reach, we reach Koron and we stayed there for four days. Talagang, there's a time na we are talking, siguro, dito lang tayo sa Coron, hindi yata talaga tayo sa doon sa ating sa destination. So, after three days in Coron, malakas pa rin ang hangin kasi they cannot, they cannot travel papunta sa Coron kasi may, may isa pang island na pupuntahan. Kasi yung Coron pala ay uh, group of islands. Marami palang islands doon. So, yung means ng transportation nila is bangka or yung Ma barko, yun yung means of transportation nila. So, we don't have a choice but to wait hanggang humina daw yung hangin. So, yun lang, minsan tumatawag kasi yung lugar na pupuntahan namin, can you experience mga kapatid, walang kuryente, walang internet, walang cellphone. Mga kapatid, it is really uh, an island. It's really an island. Kaya sabi nga namin kahit TV, kahit po TV, meron naman. Kaya lang uh, masaya ka na kung, masaya ka na kung makakita ka ng TV kasi malalaman mo kung yung bahay may TV kasi maraming tao sa paligid. So that's how, that's how we, we notice kung meron TV sa isang bahay. Talagang maingay kasi maingay yung makina. So that's how. Uh, another, the ministry. The ministry we start is uh, we visit a house to house then uh, we notice the need of the people is really they are hunger for something new. They are hunger for something new. Kahit yung mga tao doon na, na they are not an Adventist, they really like to listen Kuya, to the word of God. You, you've said that no, there's no current electricity. Do you have nightly meetings? Yeah. Yes, you we have. have so how would you able to make that the nature as a resource yes. for uh, your nightly meetings? Actually, there's a generator, but 
the only thing is that the generator only run from 6.30 to 10. So, the only time that we can browse the notes is only that moment. So, because we cannot open our computer without electricity. So, and also the, only, the another problem is that when we open the projector, the generator Turn will down. collapse also. <laughs> so, the time that we open the, the projector, it is the only moment that some lights, uh, some lights are uh, out, papatayin yung ibang ilaw, tapos papatayin yung ibang mga gadgets kasi yun lang talaga ang kaya niya. <laughs> That's really a challenging moment. Sorry. But we have, we have nightly meeting, uh, six days uh, nightly meeting. Six days and four days travel. So what, what date did you came back? Came back here sa AUP. Anong date na kayo bumalik dito? Uh, three, uh, five na kami nakarating dito. January 5. So see, it was really a challenging experience. Since that he is from Palawan, let's hear also from Mindoro. So, Kuya, ang ganda ng, ang ganda ng story. From Mindoro, this is a question. Since Mindoro is also a far place, and then Mindoro and your seven, sa budget, how were you able as a team to produce or to travel, to travel there? Na, and to produce a budget for it. May t-shirt pa sila, no? Nagsaka talaga kayo. <laughs> Sige, ate. Um, yung uh, our fair, papunta doon, eh, di ba may binigay naman na budget uh -oh. from AUP? Kasha naman. Uh -oh. And, uh, Yung pabalik, actually, it's from the church na galing po sa members ng church. And nung binigay nila sa amin yun, parang two days before kami umalis. Uh, parang ang bigat-bigat na tanggapin kasi sobrang laki niya kasi dalawang group po kami. Wow. Dalawang group kami doon sa, sa tas isa lang yung church. Pero magkaiba kasi yung lugar, pero isa lang yung church na nag-handle sa amin. Dalawang group kami, ba bale, 18 kami. And uh, so, kung iisipin na natin yung pamasahe, mula sa Mindoro, almost 500, ganyan. And uh, nung tinanggap namin yung fair na yun, parang ang bigat sa kalooban na parang, syempre, alam naman natin na hindi naman sila mayaman na okay lang na sa kanila yon Pero kung talagang, talagang ang Panginoon ay gumagawa ng paraan. Kasi, it's, yung uh, pag talaga nasa ministry tayo ng Panginoon, yung uh, blessings talaga ay nag-overflow. So, nakakatawa and praise God talaga kasi meron mga tao na willing na tumulong na ipalaganap yung gospel sa ibang tao. Amen. So, I, I was expecting to have also the travel experience and how about you, Kuya? How was, you know, how was your travel experience with God? Papunta at pabalik na sa VOI, sa field. Uh, our travel, Tagalog. Because it's peak season, <laughs> di ba? Ano, yung papunta po kami doon, uh, sobrang ano ng travel kasi, Yung doon pa lang po kami sa van, nandiyan pa lang kami sa expressway. Muntik na po kaming maaksidente doon sa van. Kasi uh, expressway nga, syempre mabilis yung mga van. Mabilis, di ba? <laughs> mabilis yung van. Tapos biglang tumigil yung van na kasunod namin. Kasi parang sumobra siya doon sa lilikoan niya. Kala niya siguro, ano, nagkamali siya ng ano kasi dapat liliko na siya eh, hindi siya napaligo. So, mm, ano, tumigil siya dun sa gitna, eh, kami mabilis. Tapos, ako tulog ako nung panahong yun. Tulog ako dun sa unahan ng, tulog ako dun sa unahan ng van. Tapos, ah, uh, yung, 
nagising na lang ako umi ano umirit na yung katabi ko <laughs> yung um, sumigaw siya parang yun umirit nga siya tapos doon nakita ko yung, na yung van na parang halos ando na ando na mababangga na talaga <laughs> pero yung driver akala ko nga kasi nasa unahan pag nandun ka sa unahan akala mo film mo na yung kaba talaga dahil parang ando na talaga eh pero hindi ginabayan kami ng Diyos para hindi para makarating kami din sa lugar tapos para hindi kami maaksidente tapos nung nandun na kami sa barko nag ano pagkasimula pagkasimula pagka andar ng makina ng barko dun pa lang kami sa ano halos ilang meters pa lang kami from the pier ah uh, may nag-crossover na ano, yung maliit na barko, yung oiler, yung maliit na gano'n, yung maliit lang, na muntik na naman siya mapangga ng barko actually. <laughs> kung, ano, kung hindi tumigil uli yung barko, kung hindi tumigil uli yung barko, banggang-bangga sana siya kasi ang liit niya tapos dun siya sa harap namin pupunta. Parang ang, ang tapang. <laughs> Pero praise God pa rin na ano praise God na iningatan niya ulit kami sa pangalawang pagkakataon. Tapos noon, after noon, nagkanda kami ng bar Barko Ministry. Nagkanda kami ministry. ng Barko Ministry. Barko Ministry, yung nag-worship kami dun sa loob ng barko tapos yung response naman ng mga pasahero, hindi naman parang inignore kami. Nakinig naman sila pinata yung TV. Tapos yung iba doon na nagagadget, na nagma-music, pinatay nila yung music oh. nila. So nakakaano lang na nakinig sila doon sa ministry namin doon sa barko. Tapos, yun. Okay. Thank you, Kuya, RJ. Sige. And now, um, Mindoro and Palawan team, of all those experiences that you had experienced, what was the most promising that you would be Um, thankful for to God. The most unforgettable experience that you had while you were there. That, uh, you can really say that Jesus was really there with you. Happy Sabbath po. Happy Sabbath. Sa akin po, hindi ko makakalimutan. Yes, Sir Pasamba. Yes. We have heard that you have also wonderful experience out there, Samindoro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is my four, pangapat na experience in BUY. At, but this is my first time to because we have a uh, two foreigner the song T1 at uh, Mipi and uh, this is uh, not un unforgettable because uh, because we are uh, pastoron we are not uh, we have ano uh, we are we have no theology there oh, we have no we have no th uh, theology or we, wala kaming pastor sa um, wala kaming pastor na kasama so but uh, we are we are uh, like a uh, pastor there because sir pasamba is good preaching there oh and uh, and, and our uh, speaker there som si one is a very good health uh, lecture and uh, our uh, uh, sir, uh, si sir pasamba and som si one is vegetarian so we are uh, All group is vegetarian there, so it's good. <laughs> But when we come here in uh, UP, uh, also vegetal vegetarian again. <laughs> uh, so wait lang. So uh, thank you uh, and uh, thank 
uh, this is not unforgettable for me because uh, the last, uh, the last, uh, the last uh, Friday, Song Siwan approached me the we are listen. Uh, translate my English because I want to experience this. Uh, you are my translate, translator. So, uh, because I'm not uh, good in speaking, uh, English speaking, I, I told him, oh, Gula is better than me. Sabi niya, you, you, uh, you are my translator. The, uh, I translate there. So, I'm so glad because uh, I'm here to English with you. <laughs> so, uh, this is not, this is my not unforgettable <laughs> in BOI. Thank you, Bob. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> that was that was very striking. Okay, so our next uh, first the next person that will be giving the testimony will be uh, Mom. Again, the question is, of all the experiences you had experienced, what was the most promising that you would be thankful for? Okay. Happy Sabbath to all. So before I reiterate to all of you, I experienced that. I would like to read from the text here. That is in Ecclesiastes 3 verse, uh, chapter 3 verse 1, I should say. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. The most significant and unforgettable, unforgettable thing that I um, experienced was that when, uh, when I'm with God. Because um, before, I was not really um, joining joining this kind of acti activity. But when I joined um, during those times, I was awakened. Um, though, though I'm shaking because uh, Mystery um, put me in a chi uh, children coordinator, in the children coordinator, I should say. There, I was shaking um, tremendously because I don't know how to handle kids because I'm majoring secondary. But then, praise God because God uses me he uses me to be um, a mature um, individual in his ministry. There, I, I was able to realize that there is more important in a particular children when we spend our time to them, when we uh, let them um, realize that there is Jesus, there is someone who could help them despite of their young ages. But I mean, even though how young they are, as long as they are willing to listen, to listen to God's words, God would help them someday to be um, more mature and God-fearing -fe person. Fearing person. So guys, um, to end up, my conclusion is that wherever we go, wherever we, whatever we do, be mindful of time because we don't know where would we be someday. We don't know what would be our condition someday because God is um, serious in us. He's, he's inviting us that if we just spend a few of time in Him, God will um, increase our wisdom. Not only our wisdom, but also our understanding. So may God bless you all. Amen. 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 Yeah. That was a good yeah. testimony. The next one, sir. Okay. Uh, sa amin naman, uh, uh, I will speak you, in Tagalog. Can you Tagalog. stand up, sir? Stand up. Uh, sa amin naman, ang pinaka-challenging sa amin ay yung bawat membro sa amin. Kasi kami ay first-timer. Pati ako, per, first-timer ko maging coordinator. Pangalawang beses ko mag-wizard field. Uh, pero first-timer ko pa lang maging coordinator. Sa speaker namin, unang beses pa lang siya. Pati yung iba namin ka-membro, Karamihan sa amin ay first time. First time yun. Ngayon, ang pinaka-challenging na nangyari sa amin ay nung nag-serenade kami. Nung nag-serenade kami, alam niyo kung ano nangyari. Sa gitna ng... Kasi ang laka rin nun ay halos... Uh, halos dalawang kilometro yata o isang kilometro na laka rin. Madadaanan mo yung gitna ng palayan. Palayan. Walang masisilungang bahay. Gitna ng palayan. 
Nagtatanong mga lang yun, uh, napak, uh, nung nasa, bago pa kami bumungad sa palayan, dumating yung malakas na ulan. Uh, malakas na ulan. Ang dala namin payong ay dalawa lang. Uh, ay kami, ay, nagsirin kami ay 13. 13 kami nagsirinig. Kaya naglakad kami lang, naglakad tuloy-tuloy pa rin. Uh, ang nangyari sa amin, lahat kami naligo sa ulan. Uh. Kaya parang, parang parangdam ko ba, ginagayad pa ba kami ng Panginoon? Uh, pero natuklasan ko na yun pala isang, isang statement ng doubt. Nung pagdating namin sa bahay, ang pinakamagandang nangyari sa amin, narating namin yung bahay ng isa sa mga backslider. Uh, kaya kami ay masaya dahil uh, dun sa pagbisita namin, kumbaga, um, na aabot pa, may mensahe pa rin ang Panginoon sa kanila ba? Kaya yun yung isa sa uh, yung promising experience. Thank you. Next up is um, First time po kasi lahat to. First time para sa akin. Um Ay, pigilan mo, pigilan mo. <laughs> Ay, nag-iisip pa ako. <laughs> ah, iyak. Um, Sige, okay lang. Ang... Lahat, lahat na gusto mo pasalamatan sa Panginoon ay yung nakilala ko siya at napapasalamat po kasi ako na pinakilala po sa amin ang um, isa po sa religious organization dito na Amara Nata Small Group noong kasi po ako ay nagwangi na nabaptize nung four lang po. January 4 nito. Anniversary ba? <laughs> uh, Napapasalamat po kasi yung Maranata small group na kilala namin at dahil doon ginamit sila ng Panginoon para sa pamilya ko nabaptize kami kasama yung aking father. At Ngayon po, na, pas, hindi ko akalain na makakasama pa, po pala ako sa Voice of Youth kung saan ako yung dating nakaupo at nakikinig lamang. Pero ngayon, ako na yung kasama na ako sa Amen! 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 Okay lang yan. Okay lang yan. Ano po? Challenge! Challenge! Kasi, ano, bag, ako yung pinakabata din sa grupo namin. <laughs> At, binigyan agad ako ng, ano, naging prayer coordinator ako. At, challenge sa akin na, papano ko sisimulan? Kasi, hindi ko alam. At, salamat sa mga ka VOI team ko. Tinulungan niyo ako. Amen. Thank you. Ano yung, yung kating niya? O nga, pa, tayo po at uh, para mapalakpakan uh, po namin kayo lahat. Thank you so much. Salamat po sa pagtulong sa kanya. Thank you Ate Jelen from VOY Bansod, Mindoro. And now we we'll have a break to watch a short video. <laughs> 